We are at the Glass Houses in Chelsea, here in New York City, with Alfonso, who is gonna be rocking a wedding in October for Mike and Kevin. What did you go through with everybody? We went over timeline briefly and what's going on in which space because they have a multi-floor setup here. So it's starting ceremony. This will be vamped for people to sit down. From here, it's gonna go down to 14th floor, cocktail hour, where we're gonna be setting up music and a microphone there. And then this room will be revamped for, for party, for reception, where we'll be spinning, playing music, and throwing an amazing time. There's some really cool views here. And maybe we'll just take a peek downstairs. Fairly simple. Glass, white, walls, columns. Which, I, I don't know what's going on, but they, they were talking about lighting setup, and they said they're very particular in this space about what lighting is brought in. And they want them to use their specific vendors. The problem with that is, is that you, you can plug in lighting, but it, if it's their lighting and, it, and no one's here working the lighting, well, what know. if something goes wrong? What if the color's not right? You know what I mean? Maybe they're just thinking of setting up up lighting and just setting right, the color and leaving it. Yeah. They actually didn't solidify any kind of lighting. Okay. As, I strongly a, recommended right two lights on towers mm -hmm. for that room and that size space because obviously we don't do one. One looks ridiculous. It looks awkward. Yeah. So for balance, I said, listen, two on two trusses, simple, unobtrusive. I can only say dressed in white, even though the rest of the room is white, but we don't want to contrast that too drastically either. Mm -hmm. We want to sort of blend in with the mm -hmm. environment. So I met Al four or five years ago, maybe? Three, four years ago. And I needed somebody to help me out with an event and was recommended to him from somebody in, in the business. And we've been friends ever since. He's really one of my go-to talents, both MC, DJ. I love the passion that he has. It's something that really particularly stands out to me is he's not gonna just show up at the event and do a great job, but we're gonna meet with the clients beforehand. He wants to make sure 110% of everything is spoken about, all the details are worked out, so we've been working together for a while now. Whenever I'm booked and another client wants to come in and work with us, Al's the guy. Thank you, I appreciate it. Skills. One of the things that I think is really important to mention is we're here at a site visit for an upcoming wedding that's not taking place until October. Um, but this has got to give the client a peace of mind and surety that we're fully vested in their project. I mean, I think that's a... It's true. Yeah. Yeah, wedding's five months away. And today was a convenient time for all of us to just meet, make sure logistically we're all on the same page and yeah. it's gonna be great. Yep. Cool. I personally am not going to be hosting, but I like to be super hands-on with my clients. I've never been to this space, so I wanted to get a feel for what we might need to set up and go over the details. Just want to make the clients feel 100% comfortable with us. Alfonso was here, I'm here. Both him and I will just talk through the way we're going to execute this event, and it's going to be amazing. I'm going to talk to the client about some of our thoughts of what would be best for the room. Lighting, both up lighting, which will bring color all along the white portions of the room, and the dance floor lighting as well. So we are gonna have TVs, and we're gonna probably add some intelligent moving heads on the top, which really is a cool transition into throwing a really fun dance party. So we're here outside at Snub Harbor in Staten Island, New York, and we're preparing the ceremony. Every ceremony configuration is a little bit different, but for us, we are hidden off to the side, kind of tucked in on this path between some trees, and preparing the music, getting the wireless microphone ready, and cocktail and reception. It's coming right up. Implementing traditions are often conversations I have with my clients. 
The most popular tradition is the grand introduction, where the parents, bridal party, and newlyweds get announced into reception. The bouquet and garter tradition creates some pretty funny results. The bride tosses the bouquet to the single women. The groom then removes the garter from the bride in a funny and or risque approach. And the single bachelors then get invited to the dance floor to catch the garter in an often competitive moment. The last portion always gets a hilarious reaction. Cultural traditions also come up with couples. Sometimes weddings have a Chinese tea ceremony that I help facilitate. It is a ceremony where the bride and groom offer tea to their elders. It gives the newlyweds an opportunity to show respect, gratitude, and honor their parents for their years of love, care, and support. I've assisted with so many different cultures and absolutely love the diversity that New York City brings. All weddings are unique and it's exciting for me to help bring a couple's vision to life.